Well, we're out here today at uh, the range, and we're gonna try and do a quick, quickish, maybe one take video. We've got our Freedom Ordnance FX9. Uh, I originally got this in a pistol configuration. It came with a muzzle that was threaded half by 28 that I already had suppressor for. Uh, M lock handrail. Got a little suction and was able to put this Knight's Armament grip on. And then uh, went ahead and took that pistol only configuration off, added this, and made it an SBR. If you guys can tell, there is a dimensional difference at the back here. I did look into it. Uh, Freedom Ordnance is making a polymer piece to fill the gap on a Law Tactical folder. So... It's pretty interesting little setup. I have not fired any rounds out of this gun yet. I also added the SIG Romeo and the little inverse light. Um, and it's kind of MP5-esque. I don't know what else to say. It's really interesting. Uh, depending on how I like the back and how it performs, I might actually get a law folder. Um, there are people at the range right now, so I apologize for any... Uh, background noise cool gun definitely got a deal on it uh, and so i was like you know what let's let's check this out you know, there's lots of videos out there already on this reviews uh they're a little bit older legacy videos i would like to see if anybody has them um long-term reviews i know that this one that i just picked up has anti-walk pins on it and so that was definitely one thing that was annotated was pins that were walking and it was nice to see that they modified that as a factory option coming right from the manufacturer uh, so today we're out here it came with ETS mag i do not own any of these for any of my glock platforms so this is the first time i'll be trying it out and it's just coming in cold completely cold today we're using 124 grain Winchester and all ammunition, nothing crazy. We'll just load up a few different rounds and see how it works out and uh, test it out. I hope you guys like the view. As you can see, we still have snow out here. Here's a range cadre driving by in the Kubota diesels. So we'll get uh, loaded and get this test fired here in just a moment. Like it, like I have seen in other videos, it's got a last round bolt hold open, which is a really nice feature for manual of arms if you're used to ARs. But check it out. Ran without a hiccup to get with. One thing I did notice is uh, this can. If you guys have ever done a... If you guys have ever done a wish can, a wish solvent trap, uh, you can see right here on my hand, it's blowing gas out. They're not the greatest or highest quality suppressors or suppressor hose solvent trap turn suppressor uh, you can definitely see where gas was blowing out of that little thing uh, right onto the hand there so uh, go with US manufacturing go with high quality if you want a durable can that was definitely not durable you ready to go hot all right hot so interesting thing just happened <laughs> guy said cold while we we're sitting here recording had rifle in hand and he just walked out uh, on the range um, safety first guys definitely safety first so i'm gonna load up a few more rounds make this a little interesting uh he just walked out and i don't feel like i missed anything there i'll check on the playback of the video but 
he just walked out and grabbed his stand uh, while I was rifle in hand. So that's that's definitely something that I'm not here for. It's not my lifestyle. Definitely want to make sure things are safe. Um, but he just grabbed his stand and left. So I, I'm, I'm not too sure what was happening there. Uh, there is another couple people down on the far side, but we're communicating. So anyhow, uh, let's get this red dot turned up a little bit higher. I'll back up. Back in. Here we go. Well, it holds pretty good. A little bit of recoil. You can see the gas is still escaping onto my hand there. So overall, <laughs> Kind of expected for a blowback. Kind of neat. I like the uh, throw on it. Or essentially the weight that it's pushing around. And I definitely like that it's last round bolt hold open. Uh, very intuitive. Um, I don't really know how to criticize it. I just haven't made up my mind completely. Uh, picking it up off the bench. The bolt just slammed. But... With the bolt closed, I was able to easily seat this mag. Yeah, this this thing's rad. So going clear, right? Going safe. But it's, it's a quick up design, man. It's nice. A little bit of a far reach back here for any light systems. I am going to get online and actually what I'll end up having to do is also pull this handguard and check fitment around this uh, suppressor. But if their factory handguard fits around the suppressor, Freedom Ordnance does offer other length handguards. So that might be something to definitely check into. But so far, I am liking this. This is like a modern poor man's mp5k it's really cool uh one thing that i've seen also is strike industries makes a dual dual bar style pdw stock so i'm gonna put some more rounds through this and depending on the configuration or the width and whatnot i may end up doing that pdw style or the law tactical but should definitely be cool should be a good fun time i'm not seeing any weird wear but or crazy markings i'm looking up in the chamber and uh feed ramp i don't see anything that's just really stands out to me as odd right now and so we'll get some more rounds out of it let people that are interested in purchasing one try it out and uh let it run its course. I'd like to try it with some different ammunition before I give it the complete go ahead, but with just 124 grain ball, it's it's killing it. It's awesome. So uh, not that long overall, especially with the suppressor. Uh, again, you could debate pistol versus pistol caliber carbine, um, but at least with at least with something that has a, you know, non-tilting lock barrel like a Glock. You know, this has a fixed barrel. You don't have to go buy an adapter. You don't have to get a Nielsen device um, for that. So, and you got more accuracy. You got more points of contact on an SBR than on a pistol, right? So, why not? Let's try it out. little bit spunky but i like it uh and this for for the downsides of the wish can it's uh it's lightweight and it's not getting that hot honestly like it's warm but it's not hot and i know we haven't put a whole bunch of rounds through it if you guys like this video make sure you guys go check out my other videos you guys can also catch me on the streaming platform clover 
on Sundays for lock and load. We talk about different things. Uh, go to my Instagram and follow me there. Same name, Fusil Priming LLC. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it, this one take video. See you guys on the flip.